Hey gang, my name's Ben, and here on day five of the 30 day challenge, I'm going to give you an introduction to Market Samurai's Find Content module. So let's jump in. The Find Content module plays an important part in the 30 day challenge. Let's stop and think for a moment. At this stage in the process, you should have selected a niche and you should have found good keywords within that niche. Remembering that by good, we mean that a keyword has a good level of traffic, low competition, and commercial value. At this point in the process, our thoughts turn to the creation of web pages. And it's these web pages that we want to see rank in the search engines for our selected keyword. Of course, in order to create such a page, for example on our website or blog, we need content. We need written material that we can put on our page. We can't just write content about anything, we need to write content that is specifically optimized for the keyword we want to rank for. And some people really struggle here. We need content both to attract the search engines and we need content for our visitors to read and to engage with. So the question becomes, how do we get our hands on some good quality written content? Well, we can write our own content. And in the 30 day challenge, this is what we recommend. Or, we can get the content from somewhere else. For example, we might pay someone to write content for us. Or, we might publish someone else's content, and there are websites that allow you to do that. But our focus is on writing our own unique content. Now, if you know a lot about your niche, you may be able to sit down and simply write great blog posts or articles. However, because we're looking to write content that specifically targets our selected keyword, most of the time, before we can write our article, we need to do a little research. It's when attempting to do this research that we find the, con the Find Content module is most helpful. The Find Content module allows us to do two important things. Firstly, it allows us to choose what kind of reference material we want to look at. We might want to look at just news items or just blog posts or just articles specific to our keyword. So whereas a general Google search for your keyword will bring back a mix of content types, in the Find Content module, you can pick what kind of content you specifically want. Now if that were all, we could perhaps teach you a few special Google search commands and in some cases, you could find those specific content types. However, the second feature of Market Samurai's Find Content module is that it enables you to compare and contrast the relative popularity or authority of specific pieces of content that you find. Let's think about it for a moment. With Market Samurai, not only can you say, I want blog posts relevant to my keyword, but when presented with a number of them, you can find the gold, so to speak, or the most authoritative the most popular blog posts from the list that you get. So how do we assess popularity? Well, basically, if we're comparing two web pages and the first has a number of incoming links or backlinks and the second has none, then we'd say the first is more popular or more authoritative. So here we've got the article or blog post in question and we can see that backlinks are links from other web pages back to our target page. Here other website owners have taken the time to create those links. The more backlinks, generally speaking, the more popular. If we're comparing two pages and the first has a higher Google page rank, then again we'll say that it's more popular. Also, if we're comparing two pages and the first page has been taken and republished in different places around the web a number of times, then we'll say that it's more popular because it's been republished lots of times. So why do we care about authority? If we're doing research to help us create interesting content that Google will like and our readers will engage with and hopefully other websites will link to, then wouldn't we like to know what content is currently popular? What content is currently being linked to? So let's take a quick look at how that works. But before we do, I need to introduce you to article directories. Article directories are websites where people who write articles, e.g. for publishing in magazines or online, 
go to and they post their content specifically so that others can take it and use it on their websites. The benefit to the author is that the article contains some kind of reference back to the author. For example, a biography box stating the author's name and linking to their website. Anyone who uses this content is required to include this reference. Now just because we're not planning to republish such an article doesn't mean that these websites might not be a great source for relevant content that we can use as a source of ideas for our own keyword optimized articles. So let's jump into Market Samurai for a quick demonstration. Now I should note, in the following video, in the next one, we will give a much more detailed how-to on using this particular module. So let's jump into Market Samurai. And here I've just set us up with a, a search around solar panels and, uh, and we found some keywords that, that look like good prospects. We'll pick one of those, let's say used solar panels. And by clicking on the key here, we've created our own tab. And so we can click on the Use Solar Panels tab, and we're going to jump down to the Find Content module. And you'll recall I said that the Find Content module allows us to pick the particular format of content that we want. So we can say we only want articles relevant to Use Solar Panels, or we only want blog posts, or we only want uh, different forms of media, so YouTube videos or Flickr images or we only want news items or documents from Scribe and so forth. So we can, we can pick the particular kind of, uh, of content that we want to get back. So let's run a search and let's pick say Ezine articles and say Wikipedia and we click the find content button and away we go. Now next to each of these items uh, we can run, we can click the analyze button and get the statistics specific to that article back through Market Samurai. What I'm actually going to do, rather than clicking it for each of them, there's the Analyze All button down here. So I'm going to click on that, and that will bring back the data for all of the 14 articles that we're considering. Now, what you'll see here, and we'll go through this in more detail in the next video, is for each of the uh, articles, we've got some, some information that we can use when filtering or determining the authority or the popularity of each of these articles. So we can see here the, the phrase count, which is the number of times that our keyword, used solar panels, appears within the full, uh, the full text of the article. Um, IC stands for index count, which is the number of times that uh, Market Samurai has been able to detect other usages of that content online. So that's, that refers to republishing. Uh, the page rank of the article, the Google page rank, and the backlinks, the, the number of backlinks. Um, I should note that because page rank is only updated, say, around every three months, that for recently published articles, backlinks is, uh, is generally a better measure of authority, and also the age of the article. And we can, we can sort by any of these numbers. So we can, uh, just by clicking on the column heading, we can sort on any of these. And if we find something that looks, uh, that looks interesting, so let's say this, this article here on, on new solar panels, we simply click on it, and we can see the full context. And uh, we can do things like um, copy it out um, to, uh, say, a Google Doc, or we can save it on our, on our computer. So, uh, again, in the next video, we'll look at um, more specifics around, uh, in, around using the tool. But just before I do, uh, before, we, before we close, I should ask the question, in this video, we've posed the question of um, looking at content in terms of finding high authority content and popular content. A question that's worth asking is, what value might there be in finding content with low authority? And that's something that's, um, that, that perhaps uh, you should have a bit of a think about. I'll leave that question with you. Thanks very much, guys.